non-topical, not affects topical, but right. expertise. Now, some of the shells add that as extensions because obviously if they do a plan that's not topical, then they may also be doing some things in addition to the topic. So that's fine to run, but no separate. If you run T, you're going to run one T. No more than one T. You're going to run the show only. So economic engagement. What is our definition of economic engagement? Remember? It has to be oh, like two-sided, right? No. I don't know. I wasn't here. Chuck your head. I'm, I'm guessing. That's OK. Do you remember? That economic engagement has to do with incentives, and we're going to use a laundry list definition. The definition we use is all across the board, and it basically says it must have economic incentives. So we have a very specific laundry list of topic economic engagement is export credits, investment insurance, promotion, access to technology, loans, economic aid, Removal of penalties like lifting the embargo, lifting sanctions. It's a laundry list. It's very, very specific. Makes it very clear. Either they are or they aren't, according to the laundry list. Now, what does this definition mean? It's very, very important. When we talk about topicality, what is the analogy that we use? What is the analogy that we use regardless of the kind of judge? What's the analogy? Sports, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the judge is the referee, the team is playing outside the boundaries, and that the judge is going to have to enforce the rules. Okay? Judges hate to vote on T. You have to set it up correctly to get them to vote for it. When we run it, we are running it because it is true. We do, don't run it and then go, ah, never mind. We're going to go for the disad instead. If you run it, you're going to run it all the way through, and you're going to run it because it's true. You're going to spend time on it. And so where does T always go in your order? First. Okay. First, always. Now, where would that maybe not be true, but actually is true? Block. Negative block. Because one of you is going to take it and talk about it exclusively. Who would take it and talk about it exclusively? Mm -hmm. The one and all, right? Why? Where do we always put our strongest arguments? In the one and R. In the one and R. Why? Because they're going to undercover it, right? In the one and R. So we're going to spend the time, plus it's fresher in the judge's mind. So the one and R is going to take T. However, do I want the 2NC to just go, no? I want the, okay, the magic words are the 2 and C is going to get up and say, we're going into the negative block. Topicality is going to be a voting issue in this round. You're, my partner is going to talk about all of their top, topicality answers and explain to you why they're not true in their speech. You see why we'd say that? Because then they'll pay attention for it. Well, no, because when topicality is an a priori voting issue, in other words, the judge is going to look at this first, does it need to be in every speech? <laughs> yes, it does. does it? Every speech. So, do I want the 2NC to spend a lot of time on it? <coughs> no, because then what is the 1NR going to talk about? Right? What's the 1NR going to talk about if the 2NC spends all their time talking about T? But if you don't mention it in the 2NC, then does it signal to the judge this is a very important issue? So what are the words that we say? What does the 2NC say going into the block about topicality for running it? My partner is going to address. My part, we're going to go for top. They are not topical. My partner is going to address all of their answers and extend upon them in their speech. Now let me go to some of the other arguments. And you're going to split the block. But you mention it. And you mention it, numero uno. Okay? So if you were giving a roadmap and you're the 2NC, are you going to have topicality in your order? Yes. 
Why? Because you want the judge to make notation that you're doing that. Okay? Does that make sense? Everybody clear on that? Everybody has looked at the T-shell? Everybody has it? We're all good when this weekend they run things like T cases that are not topical. We are not going to let them get by with it. Like the drugs. Within the shell, what kind, What are the three judges in the three different shells that we have? Stocks, community. That's one shell. That's one shell. Policy maker. Policy maker. Who would be the policy maker person? Coaches. Starks would be one that I'd probably read that one for rather than the first one. Um, so a coach, um, an old time debater, maybe like an old time I debated in college debater, not like Jeff, even though he's kind of old. It's he's, true. He's more younger than like me or I don't know. Joel Shell would be someone you'd read the policymaker for. He's the Douglas coach. He judges debate a lot. LaRue, who they'll see in Colorado, he's another I one. I don't know, he wasn't... Um, he was at Fort Collins. Oh, was he? Because mm -hmm. he was not at I don't know who that is. Um, GW, which oh. surprised me. I like him as a judge. He's, he's yeah. nice. So but LaRue would be a policymaker him? person? No. And then what's the third oh, shell that we have? Fast Rad. Fast Rad, and who's that person? Big Impacts, college. Yeah, college the punk judge, Jeff. <laughs> punk. Okay, so everybody's clear about that? Everybody's got it? I like the we're practicing it. We know how to read the shell. We know how to explain it. We know how to extend it. That's really good practice for in class. Okay. Um, travel plans for Natrona. Someone who's got a computer.